Now see a types of mechanical wave motion. First one is a transverse wave motion and second one is here the longitudinal wave motion. See here in transverse wave motion particles of the medium vibrate perpendicular to the propagation of the wave motion. And in longitudinal wave motion particles of the medium vibrate parallel to the direction of propagation of the wave. So, let us discuss first one is the transverse wave motion. And in transverse wave motion suppose you have got this is any sub support here and take a string like this and this string is here suppose free end hold it with your hand and give a single up and down jerk over here. You will see here like this wave is set up here in this and this travels in this direction. This we assume here very far so the no reflection takes place at this point. So, this type of the wave is known as transverse wave, but this is actually moving in the form of the single pulses. And now actually the transverse waves are formed in this way. If you have taken this is the equilibrium position of the particles, the wave is formed here in this way. This is your time and this side is your y axis, this is your equilibrium position. So, the particles of the medium are vibrating perpendicular to the direction of propagation of wave. Wave is propagating in this direction and particles of the medium suppose if you are taking any particle here it is vibrating like this. And these point this upper portion uppermost portions are known as here, here this is also known as crest and this is known as crest and this is known as here trough. So, this portion of the wave is temporarily above the normal position of the particle which are at rest and this is known as here the crest and the center of the crest is actually representing here maximum displacement of the particle from its mean position and this is also known as amplitude. Similarly, here it is known as amplitude. Similarly, the trough is here actually the portion of the medium which is temporarily here in the downward position maximum downward position here and in this case here the center of the trough has got the maximum displacement, but below the mean position here and this is also equal to amplitude, but it is taken here the negative here amplitude this is also called here amplitude. So, the minimum distance between two crest or two troughs is known as wavelength. and wavelength is represented by lambda here, this is the symbol for lambda. So, the minimum distance between two crest, two consecutive crest or you can say two consecutive troughs is known as wavelength and the wavelength is measured in here meter. If you are starting from here, so one wave suppose is starting from here, it is coming like this is here, this is the half wave and then it is going to this side and the wave is completed here. So, the time taken by the wave to travel from this to this position is known as time period. So, from here to here whatever is the time that is called time period. The particle which is here at this point and this is which is at here they are in the same phase. Similarly, the particles of the medium which is at this point and which is at this point they are in the same phase, but the particle which is at O and which is at this point they are in out of phase, there is a phase difference of the pi radian. So, now see a longitudinal wave motion. In the longitudinal uh, wave motion, particles of the medium vibrate or execute simple harmonic motion about its mean position in the direction of the propagation of the wave. And in longitudinal wave motion, see here in the medium compressions and rear fractions are formed. Actually, there is change in the density of the medium in this uh, density of the medium. Suppose you have taken this tube, in this tube air is filled here and now here one is piston, one piston is over here. Now, suppose if you move the piston to the right side and this side here suppose, what happened? Air gets compressed next to the piston. It means the air molecules come closer to each other and air pressure decreases, increases. 
it means due to increase in the air pressure closeness of the air molecules increases and they comes together and they form here the denser as compared to the other part of the medium. But when you take the piston here this side back side that is towards left what happens here the air pressure reduces and the particles of the medium moves back to the their position they move towards the piston as a result rear factions are formed. So, in the medium what happens suppose if you have taken the portion of the medium you will find in certain portion here there is a compressions are formed where the density of air increases. In the next portion here there are the rear factions or the air molecules goes far from each other rear factions are formed. So, this is known as compressions and this is known as rear factions and the next will be again here the compressions and next will be here again rear factions. So, this is your C R C R. So, during the propagation of longitudinal wave, longitudinal wave there is a change in the density of the medium as a result compressions and rear factions are formed. The distance between two consecutive compressions is equal to wavelength similarly the distance between two consecutive rear faction is equal to wavelength. So, now in this case here longitudinal wave motion there is a formation of compressions and rear factions and example of this type of wave is sound wave. Now, see your wave function. So, see here suppose this is a string initially the particle which is here that is going up. So, the displacement is upside here. So, this is actually here representing displacement. Now, wave pulse is travelling to this side. So, the displacement of the particle from the mean position depends on the two factors here. One is your distance x of the point from the origin this is the origin point. So, the displacement of the any particle from the mean position depend on the distance x from the origin and time at which the measurement is made. It means the displacement y at any time t is a function of x as well as t. So, we can write here the y is the function of x. So, the displacement of the particle at any moment which is actually executing simple harmonic motion and uh, producing the vibration which are traveling in the forward direction. In that case y is a function of x because if x changes y will be changing. So, at the t equal to 0 when the particle is at the origin we can write y is equal to x, y is a function of x at any time t y x t it means y position at a distance x and time t can be represented f is equal to x plus minus v t. Here in this case from the origin here x plus minus v t from the origin where v is the velocity of the wave pulse with which it is traveling here and I have included plus minus sign here. If you are traveling from left to right we write here the minus and if you are traveling right to left then you are writing plus that is why I have included here f x plus minus v into t and it is written here x minus v t for left to right and x plus v t for right to left. So, this is the displacement at any time t which is depending on actually x and t both. So, this is known as here the wave function and this is the equation for that.